Kelda this week we're in the far north and we're going to catch up with one of the local legends by the name of Boy Yates. Then we're going to meet his young fella, Roran, otherwise known as Cheeky, and he's got a few surprises for us too. So tag along as we go hunting Aotearoa. Tēnei wiki ka timata tātou ki te tai tokerau, ki te tahi wahi e kia nei ko takahue. Kei konei tā tātou tangata pūrākau ko Boy Yates. He nukarau ia ki tēnei rohe mai e ngā take torangapu, tainoa ki ngā mahi tope rākau, me ngā hōnore whutu paoro mo te tai tokerau. Kā mutu, he kai ngā kaua Boy ki te whakangau poaka. He taonga tēnei i tuku iho e tona pāpa, kā ati ki te tuku ia ki ana tamariki. This began here for me when I was growing up at primary school. This here, hunting this land, living off this land. This little gully of Kakawai means a lot to me. It's fed me and my family, my grandparents. That river down there has fed us with walkers, all those sort of things. And this ridge we're sitting on here now has been our pot, our fridge, for wild pigs. Even eels now, I've got four pungas out home, I set all the time, and I've done it since I was a little fella coming up that creek there, catching kewais under the rocks. Those are the little crayfish. We used to catch them, take them home, and put them on the fire. Bit of salt? Yep, eat them. Beautiful. Eat the shell and throw the meat away. <laughs> <laughs> This place here, the river, used to do our karaokas, rotten corn. We always used to put rotten corn. My parents taught us how to do it. And now it's a real delicacy to get it, but we still do it. So plenty of kai here. Plenty, plenty kai in this valley. Nā te heke rau o te werewara i whai hua ai te whānau yates i ngā kai o tēnei whenua. E ngari, Kei te haere tonu ngā mahi mo te whānau nei. When they were growing up, they all used to have a time that if I get up at two o'clock in the morning or they're waking me up two o'clock after football, at night when we get home, they had a time limit of half an hour to put the stock crate on, catch the horses, dogs and we're off. You know, young fellas are keen hunters, eh? And they oh, wouldn't be uh, short of a leg of wild pork every now and then. <laughs> Never short of pork. Henry rings me up. Come up, boys, sending it out. Cheeky, the whole lot of them. They're real excellent examples of sons. I can honestly say that. E toru ngā whakatipuranga o te whānau Yates, ko ora mai i ngā manaakitanga mai o te nei whenua. Nā te pāpā o boi, i tuku a mai te taonga whakangau puaka ki a ia. My old man was Bowman Yates. I don't know, I wasn't interested in whakapapa in in those days and I still haven't done much. All I knew is Bowman Yates and he was a great father for me. He boot my ass and do all those (laughs) things and made me work. And now I'm proud of it. I'm proud of my mother. My mother was Mate Shelford from Mangamuka. There's a whole line of Shelfords, the Harrises, they all come from the one whanau. The first thing, the thing that remembers, I remember most is to open your bloody eyes, don't talk about things, open your bloody eyes, get out there and go and do it. Don't muck around. And that's the greatest thing I've ever learned. Open your eyes, you squeeze two bloody lifetimes into one. That's what he used to say. And I believe that. You can come up here hunting at the night. You're catching pigs, not for yourself, for everyone else, all your mates. 
And then you go back home in the morning, say, milk your cows, and you've done all that at night, whether you have to take a day to come and do those things, you've done it. Gone back, milk your cows, and go about your daily work. E whai ake i ngā whakatairanga he kōrero pūrākau tā poi mō tētahi kōiwi i whakohukia ki ta kainga he whakaatu ki anohoa. Different areas you get the biggest pigs. The gum fields of Ahipara you get a different type of pig, it's a smaller type of pig. Up to Paki, you'd get the pigs that have been crossed with a tame one, such as the Duroc, crossed with a wild pig. That's where you get the size. When my father used to bring me up pig hunting on the back of his horse and drop us, me and another Māori fellow, Dave Murray, we used to come up here both of us hanging on behind the horse and they used to drop us down there and come up around this ridge here and do the pig hunting, catch the pigs. Plenty of pigs, eh? Plenty of pigs in those days. Just around the corner here is where I found a cave. The dogs went in, we were listening and my mate could just hear them because I was a deaf prick most of the time. <laughs> and. Uh, we went along, we were listening, listening, and then, hello, it was just in the rocks. I crawled in there. I told him, you wait here, I'll call in. So I crawled in these rocks here, and I got in, hello. I lifted my arm, and here was all these skeletons. It was in a Maori cave. It opened up inside, and the dogs were right at the end, so I had to get them out, and I went further in, and there was more bones stacked there. I never got frightened at the time. I looked at the skulls and the, you could see all the joins in the head round the side here and got the dogs off and it was a silly thing I'd done. I understand now I took a skeleton home to show my mates. That night this woman with a toko come into my room and every night since you know, not since, but until I told my mother I was getting haunted, I used to wake up shaking by the missus on the side there, shaking. She's here, she's here, all like that. And it carried on until I told my mother and she asked me straight away, have you touched anything tapu? I didn't want to tell her, but I had a skeleton down in the shed and I told her. Whew, take it back, take it back. So we took it back, straight back into the cave. That's around this area, I won't point out. Because I believe now, leave them alone. And I only found them off chance. There's cave, one cave in this area out here and one out in this area that I've found. Skeletons and greenstone. So how, how did it all stop? Did you get a, your mother get a... Oh, she told me to take it, awesome. take it back take it back, took it straight back, crawled in, placed it back properly and I crawled out and this was in the middle of the day and there was a mock pork straight out sitting on this tree calling mock pork, mock pork and that, that made me really grateful I took it back like it was telling me thank you, thank you, you've done a good thing. And I tell you, on real honesty, that happened. Some people mightn't believe it, but I'm grateful I took it back and I apologise to my ancestors this day that I ever had the stupidness to take it out of there. Mai rā nō tēnei whānau e noho ana ki te whenua nei. He mira kakau te mahi a boi me ana tamariki. E kai ngā kau nui a ngā boi ki ta whakangau poaka, ahakoa, tōna kau mātuatanga. Now, you still hunting now? No, I'm dreaming now. <laughs> dreaming of the good times and the good days and stories I'd like to share. That's one thing about it, life. I believe you've got to help each other to get along. 
Tetzel. Kia ora no mai tātou. Tēnā hoki koutou no ho mai nā i o koutou wākai. Wā tātou kōrun mo te pōna e pāna ki te hīmako. Nā kōrero mo te hīmako ka whai nei no te rāra wo te muri penua. E rua no iho ngā rā o te tau ka whakaritea mo te hī kāpeta. Ko te rā tuatahi, kai te marama o kohi tātea, ka hī i te pō o te rā kaunui, te rā tuarua, ko te wā o te pakoki. E rua wiki i muri i te rā tuatahi. Ka hī i te awatea, ko e nei hoki te rā, ka aukati te wā mo te hī ika. Te tangata ka patua he mako i muri e te aukatitanga, ka raru raru ia i ngā mahi o te tika ngā mūru. Te wā ka whakaritea nuku atu i te lima te kauwaka me te kotahi mano tāngata ka haere ki te hi. Ngā rāi mō te hi, ka haere ngā waka ki ngā awa ki te mau kanae hei mōunu mō rātou. Ka tangohia ngā pukupuku me ngā whew. Ka whakareri anō wā rātou aho, ngā taura, ngā patu me wetahi atu hanga. Ka utaina ki rungo i o rātou waka, a ka tatari. Te pa kōtanga mai o te pū, ka haere ngā waka ki te pū waho te aka, a ka huna ki roto i ngā rākau manau. Ka kawea mai ngā tai kaha o te kōanga, ngā mako ki roto i ngā awa me ngā manga. I te wā ka pari haere te tai, ka hoki ngā mako ki waho ki te moan, i ko nei, ka haukotia e ngā waka. O tira, ka noho puku ka tatari. I te pari tanga o te tai, ka mea te rangatira, e, ko whati te mata o te tai. I ko nei, ka tū te rangatira i roti tōna waka a kakaranga. Hua kina, hua kina. Ka re roa te tatari, Ka rongohia ngā karanga, kohi kohia, mata aika, ka rongohia hoki i te timo e patu patu ana tihu o ngā mako ki a tere tā rātou mati. I te haurua tango te tai, kua ka ki ngā waka i teika, ka hoki atu ki o rātou wākai. Kua mutu anō wā tātou kōra mō tēnei pō, ngā reira no hora mai o koutou wākai. Today we're in the far north in a little place called Parapara and we're here to meet a colourful character by the name of Cheeky Yates. Now he's sort of a blend between the crocodile hunter, Jed Clampett and Mad Max. He's a bit blind so I've got my high vis and my helmet too. Let's go meet Cheeky. I shot the window. No, I shot the window. I'm on this side. The fucking window's on that side. Kick in it. I tell you what, Chick, I was a bit worried walking up your driveway, mate. I saw all these buses and all these women things here. I was waiting for Stepto to walk out. What things? <laughs> Good to meet you anyway, Ronnie. Good to meet you too, Ronnie. Now, what is, uh, exactly do you do here, bro? Uh, we're jack of all trades and masters of fuck all. <laughs> and I hear you do a lot with the young people. Ah, uh, yeah, love working with the young people. Eh? You're one of the lucky ones, eh? Uh, I don't know, fortunate, I think. 
fortunate. Had a good, good old man. Aha koa te ngaro hango o te tahi o ngā waiwai o tiki, koe a te au tai o te tau me te kai kapu i te metara koura i ngā kouma heke heke mo te hunga tua whatianga o te ao. Tiki, what, what actually is the name of this place? What have you named it anyway? Uh, it wasn't me that named it, it was the kids that come here. Is that right? Yeah, they gave it a bit of a name. What was it? Uh, School of Hard Knocks. How did that come about? Uh, it's just something we invented. It's just, um, I break it down. It's uh, H is for honesty, A is for accountability, R is for respect, and D is for discipline. Jeez. It's easy, huh? I just sort of tell the kids if you've got one of those things, or if you're looking for one of those things, doesn't matter which form it comes in, I said, we're on our way. Yeah. And you see a lot of good changes, eh, when uh, the kids were from when they first come in to when they leave? I suppose half of them don't want to go, go home? <laughs> uh, a lot of them don't want to go home. Pro probably the older ones, you know, like um, the over 20s. It takes a little bit longer with them, but the ones like this age here is quite easy. Ah, uh, my old man taught me if you want to work hard, you'll get something. If you want to sit on your ass, you'll get nothing. Just, you know, that's simple philosophy. The old school, eh? Yeah, from the old school. You know, we all come from the old school, I think, and uh, what's happened is it's the new school that's come and that's fucked things up, eh? You're also uh, responsible for releasing a lot of the game back here and over the years, eh? Oh, yeah, we, we still do. I've got no problem with it. I don't give a shit whether Doc's watching or not. It's just... That's what we do. We uh, the difference between us and Doc. We're preservationists, and they think they're conservationists. I don't think so. So uh, no, we'll just keep doing it. And they're just a government department, like every other government department. They're accountable to us. We're not accountable to them. I wa hia te nei fenua e boy Yates te papa o Chiki te tahi o ngā tangata puraka o te nei rohe. I haere mātou mo te whakangau a hakoa ngā tohu karakau he poaka. A kene, i rungo ngā poaka i te hara mai a tiki. Nā reira, ko hunai a rātou. What was the name of that block we just came out of? Oh, it's part of the boy's old farm, um, Chiki's father. And, um, I think uh, Cheeky had us on a little bit. Uh, went up there about four or five days earlier on and chased them all away. And tells me, oh, there's heaps of pigs up there, eh? <laughs> they were, but I not no now. I noticed uh, you're the first hunter we've been out with who's had less than four dogs. We only need two. Two dogs, um, eh? Two dogs, you don't damage the pork. Um, if you catch sows, you can let them go. Um, plus, you can keep better control of two dogs. And uh, if the dog's any good, uh, one dog's big uh, good enough to catch eating pigs. Uh, two dogs is just in case you bail a big boar. Um, you really need two dogs on the big boar to keep it occupied long enough. As, as the boar charges one dog, it gets out of the road, the other one comes in and heals it again. So eventually the pig will just back up and, and uh, sit there and think, well, it's not worth trying to run, you know. Mm -hmm. It's not like any normal bush, it's just patches of bush here and there, and yet there's pigs are living in it. Yeah, it's quite funny around here, um, with, in that respect. Yes, like you see the small patches, we were up there in a helicopter a couple of days ago, and, and I was surprised how small these bush areas are, but yeah, there's a lot of pigs up there. Mm. Except up there, <laughs> where we just come from. Today, today, yeah. except up there. I think you went up in there. I think he was down there looking at us, laughing, I think. <laughs> laughing his head off, eh? Okay then, bro, should we head off and go and get us some rabbits? Yeah, why not? Okay, bro. Tēnei pō ki te whakangu rapiti me ngā hea ki ngā taipu. Ko ngā whakaakoranga e nei a tiki i ngā rangatahi ki a whai wahi ai rātou ki te aku i ngā ahua tango te tai ao. Ka mutu, mā nei pūkenga e au whina ai i ngā tamariki ki te kainga me te kura. Aha ko he orata ngā rapiti nei he tuna kai hoki ki e tahi atu whenua.
Grab him, grab him, break his neck, tap him straight on the front and back on him. Quick! Grab Joe, you're too slow, just grab him, break his neck. Break his neck, quick! Just snap his neck there on the ground and then chuck him straight on the front and keep moving. Faster, Joe. Yo. Te ahua nei he nui ngā miti mo te kōhua i tēnei pō. Ka pai hoki te kai a ngā kuri, me te mōhio kua kore kore haere ngā rapati, hei kiri i te whenua nei. Koine te tari matua o ngā kaiwhakangau o te hiku o te ika ki roto ahi para. Hoi anō, kua whakawhaiti mai rātau. Nō reira e peke atu māua ko tiki ki te toro toro haere me te kōro roki a rāta. Am I being eating on? Yeah. Oh, it's pretty mint, eh? Not as good as down the line. It's down the coast for a couple of years. Down uh, Jararo. Mm, I was doing a lot of hunting down there, but um, yeah, pretty easy pigs down there. So this is where the real pig hunting is up here, mate. <laughs> I'm the secretary of this club, and um, we've got uh, 34 members, and out of the 34, we've got 14, um, just about half the members are junior members, and that's 16 and under. And we have species for them as well, which is possums, eels, snapper, uh, mallard ducks, pheasants, you know, during the shooting season, they can weigh pigs in and hunt in the senior competitions as well. And it's just mainly just to teach the young fellas about the bushcraft, respect the land, and look yeah, after the animals, sure basically. Yeah, try and yeah, you know, get them on the right track, keep them out of trouble. Today's tip, how to start fire in very wet conditions. Because everyone knows fire is very essential to any hunter, not only to hit the billy up, but more importantly, warmth. So where do we find dry firewood? Certainly not down there. You find all the wood found on the ground in wet conditions, very sodden and hard to light. We find our dry firewood up there. Now the difference between the wood you find up there caught up on the limbs and down here is that although they might be wet on the outside up there and the inside, they're still dry. Therefore, easier to start a fire Excellent kindling wood. How do we start him? Uncle Pararapa. Pararapa, you say. The old Pararapa. Well, there you have it. Dry firewood from up in the trees and a bit of Uncle Pararapa to ignite the fire. All I need now is something to put on the fire. See you guys next time. Many thanks to Boy Yates and the Fano for inviting us into your homes and sharing those wonderful stories. And to Chigi, mate, you're an inspiration to many of us with two legs. So I leave you guys with this quote from Boy Yates. Just get off your ass and do it, and you'll fit two lives into one. Kia ora matua, and we'll catch up with you guys next time on Hunting Aotearoa. Otherwise known as Cheeky, and he's got a few surprises for us. <laughs> so I leave you now with a quote as the car's in the back making a hell of a wreck. Just get out. Uncle Picky's out of gas. <laughs> <laughs> See you guys next time.
guys next time. <laughs> I actually liked. So where do we find it? I'll tell you where we find it. Hey, Mel, don't go on that, man. Hey, Paco.